we're going to test all six speeds. I'm going to start out with the lowest one first. Let's see what it does. See, we started out, we're at 100 and about 119 volts right now. All right, I think we got a peak here of 2874. Let's see, 2874 times conversion factor and that's 75 CFM so 75 CFM on low lowest one now up here let's see what our next peak speed is looks like we're still gaining a little bit all right that looks like we've peaked out. Three, three, six, six. All right, about 88 CFM rounded. At the upholstery speed, I suppose. Let's go up to diamond carpet, low pile carpet, I imagine. I think we peaked out. All right, that's about 104.3. Let's go up higher. Right, that's about 115 CFM. Right there. I see the voltage is dropping a bit. Second from the highest. Oh, no, it bumped up a little bit. Okay, 48.62. Do it again. All right, about 127 CFM. Now, time to go all the way up. We're at almost 117 volts. Hundred and thirty four. No filthy. All right, so just as a reminder, this machine's from twenty twelve. That to me, it sounds like uh. Probably time for new motor slash new bearings. Really, it just probably needs bearing repack. But light and or ungreased bearings usually run a little faster than fully greased bearings. So 134, and that is about as sealed as I can get. Now, I have uh, seen, um, like for an S3 and whatnot, uh, that this has a motor rating of 140, maybe 141, something of that nature. But remember my voltage isn't maxed out, and that will definitely add a few CFM. So I could believe that maybe a perfectly good working machine with 122, 123, maybe 124 volts might hit 140 some odd CFM. So that is certainly within range. And uh, as a reminder for the bazillionth time, this is a straight airflow test. So that's, that's great from such a nice small compact canister 
and this only is maxing out. You know, it says 1200 watts. We were testing it, it was around 1100 watts. So pretty good, more tests to come. A lot more tests to come with this guy.